hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you complete step-by-step -step guide on how you can recutter the body and face and also how to wreck the cloth breast using auto -rate pro so today we are going advanced after that i will show you how to generate all the 52 arcade blend shapes so here you are going to use two add-ons one is auto -rate pro to gen to wreck our cutter and to shape changing that will also allow us to generate all the 52 arcade blend shape all the add-on links is going to be in the description also so if you want to learn how i make this character i model this character from scratch you can comment and i'll show you how i made this if you want to learn how i make the hair you can just comment and i'll show step by step guide how i did everything from scratch so now let's get started so i'm going to simplify my scene go here and i'm going to simplify my scene so my scene becomes me so press I want to hide this hair because I don't want to include in the deformation. Also, this one I'm going to hide it and press A, select or press and let's go to side view and let's go to the top here and make one object active. So here let's go to smart okay, autorec smart. So click on get selected objects and you're going to read the full body. So the full body and okay. Now we are going to start with the next so add next and place this one on the neck add chin and this one's goes to the chin shoulder and this one's goes to the shoulder and wrist this goes to the wrist here spine root and let's place it on this side and ankles and now let's go and rig the face so the face click on add facial and let's go here so this one is for the eyebrows let me hide this line it perfect like this and let's go for the ears let's go to the eye it has to be shaped like how your eyeball has been shaped so the next thing is let's go to the mouth and place this one over here now we have the eyeball object the tank object and the others so we need to include them so let's go to object mode and I'll select the eyeball. If your eyeball is separated to add two and choose the left and the right. This one they have been joined. So I'll choose one and mark that one. So I'm going to hide the body so I can see the upper teeth and lower teeth. So I'm going to assign this one to the upper teeth. This goes to the lower teeth. And this goes to the tank. So let's unhide them. Okay. Now the next thing is let's click on K okay, and let's go to generate the rig well now it has successfully been generated so the next thing i'm going to do is let's check through if all the posts look right okay the fingers has match the face also good so let me put this one on the so let me go side view and here you want to make sure that there is a there is angle like this so the elbow can bend forward okay so now let's go and add the breast for the breast go to add links and choose breast okay so here let me select this one use b to select them all since you are using s mirror they will mirror to this side so let's go here and place this one go to front make it on model side view and i will place this one on top here and scale this little bit now let's go and add the skirts okay for the skirt here when you click on add links we have cloth which is kilt but i'm not going to use that i want to use tail to rig this one okay so i'm going to make sure you on media points or bounding balls and rotate it like this and let's align this one now let's go to our limbs again and this one tail rotate it and let's place this one here so i think this one's okay that is let's go and generate the rig so click on match to rig and it's going to generate rig for us so let's test if everything is okay yes the knee bent forward also the elbow bent backwards so we want want it to look like that so the next thing we are going to bind this one to the rig so press a select everything and shift select the rig last go to skin and click on bind and now let's wait for it to calculate uh, the bonding weight it has finished let's go to post mode and test okay this one look okay let me go here 
this one. okay so let me go to jaw it's open right eyeball can make the blink okay, everything look good here uh the ears so you can do the weight pain so it will move uh this part it's look good the breast also move good yes so let's test if uh the skirt or the shirt part is okay um we have something to fix here you see it doesn't need to bend like this okay maybe there's a weight paint let me test if i move the leg you see when i move the leg it's also taking weight this one is taking weight from the leg too so we need to do weight paint to paint uh, the cloth part so it doesn't move the cloth from starting from here okay so i'm going to do some ugly pulls like this and let me go back to object mode select the shirt let's go to weight paint and let's go to here and i'm going to blouse through to see which one is affecting that part let me go subtract okay and i'm going to set for leg so you can see when i select this uh leg stretch we have this width so i'm going to paint them all out let's set for this this one so let's go to the uh thin stretch when you go to thin stretch you can see it's also taking weight so i'm going to paint this one out so let's say two to reach one also half weight we have this one also taking weight so let's paint that one okay so we need to browse through to see which one also taking weight and this is the tail so the tail one is the one that has to be taking that weight okay so this one's okay then go here and reset the pose okay so let me move the leg and see now you can see it doesn't move with the cloth again but when you move this one it's moving okay so this is what i want so if it's passing through like this you can just simply use uh this and push it okay so you can push it to make it not cloth since you need to animate them manually you can just push it here okay, switch to individual um, then you can make it like this to animate okay so it will make it look nice so i'm going to reset all my pulls here i think now everything is good now let me unhide this one okay and this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the hair shift select uh, the rig go to pose let's select the head x ctrl plus p and let's choose bone let's do the same for uh, this one too shift select that ctrl plus p and choose bone so right now when i select this and i'll move all of them will move along like that so that is good so right now your character has successfully be rigged and you can just animate it as you want so the next thing i'm going to do is generating the 52 arcade band shapes so how i'm how i'm going to do that is i'm going to use add-on called shape kitchen this is an add-on and install the add-on that that add-on will appear on animation tab here this add-on supports characters that has been rigged with rigify or auto rig pro or your own custom rig the first thing you're going to do is select a character rig and you can see the rig name is called rig and click on rename okay so now after i click on rename i'm going to register my faces object like the body so i'm going to add it here and hide it I'm going to add the eyeball the eyelash the upper teeth uh, lower teeth tank and also the eyebrows okay, so i'm going to unhide them that's the part i need to register the others are not need for facial blend sheets so the next thing is choose source rig this character is rig with auto rig pro if it's rig with regify choose regify if it's rig with custom rig choose custom rig but this one is using auto rig pro so i will just leave auto rig pro and click transfer animation and it's okay once i hit okay i can see there is a keyframes and markers here when I, I play the animation you can see 
the character is animating the face you can see the frame drop has been the frame has been dropped so i'm going to select this one let me set this one so it won't decrease now i can see it's moving fine so now we can see our character is animating her face and this is what you are going to convert into shape keys if you want to see how this one supposed to look right you can switch from out linear to image editor go here and just click on show reference okay let's click next marker and click show reference and this will show you how that pose supposed to be look like and you go here you can see there's blend shapes there's markers with names let me go start from face frame okay so it start from here and the it generate on every 10th frame so this eye blink left and you can see our eye has blink on the left side okay so this and uh, the pose supposed to look like this so let me click on next and this i look down left and you can see it from here and the eye has looked down click on next again and i look in left so this how it's going to be look and this jaw open you can stand on this to repose your rig so it can match the shape can work like let's go to the eye blink and you can see the eye is not closing wet here so i can select my cutter rig go to post mode and here i can repose so press a and insert king because of the eye eyelash we can use after we generate the shape king we can use the scope to to align them to make it much way also this add-on has key expressions if you see our character expression it's moving slightly and you want to increase the expression okay so let's see example they have jaw forward jaw opening and if you want to increase the jaw opening you can use the location multiply so just in case it might maybe you can type 1.1.5 1. 1. and click on apply and you can see the jaw open has open wide okay so it has open wide if you want to apply to that specific frame you can click on current frame that means it's going to affect only the current frame if you're not using the current frame only it's applied to the whole blend shape you can see now the whole blend shape moving much than the before if you want to apply to only that frame you can increase and choose current frame and it will affect that current frame only okay so that's how if you want to decrease the expression also you can make the volume less than one so let's say zero point uh, maybe eight i want to apply to the, the whole keys and apply and now you can see it has decreased okay you can also use the pose to post it so it can be cool and insert key that's how it's done after we have done select our character body and you can see him go to shape keys we don't have any shape key for this character and all the parts here so just go and click on generate shape key when you click on it it's going to generate shape key for all the objects you have been registered in here okay that's how it works so click on generate shape key so after you click on generate shape key you can see there is this shape key that's been generated next thing is click on make arcade and it's going to convert all this name to arcade names just select a rig and click on clean rigs after i click on clean rates all the markers and the keyframes are going to remove from the timeline but you can see there's this one uh still playing here and you can see there's a bunch of images that has happening to blender if you want to remove them just click on clear reference and those images are going to remove and left it only the images you have in your blender already that's in the cutter session and that's, that won't be removed so still you already you still have your cutter rig that is going to start working as it was so it won't going to break anything this is non-destructive so right now we have your shape keys here and you can make eye blink and you can see eyes blinking let's go to jaw opening and the jaw is open but you can see the upper teeth and the tank is not falling because they are separate objects if you want them to follow you have to select that one and also set jaw open but i have an add-on that can help you to do so it's called driver's control it's in my gun road it's free complete free here is it it's called driver's control the first thing you need to do is select a mother object the object you need to control the other checking so this one i'm going to use the body so add it to calculation make it first on the list press a and select others and click create 
add to add them to the collection and click on key drivers now you can see the tank snap to the jaw so right now when i move uh the jaw open when i set the jaw open you can see the tank and the teeth will follow and if i make any eye look down though i have selected the body you can see the the eyeball is moving you can see it's separate you see it is using drivers okay so this is very cool you can make eyebrows um nose rough cheek proof area of brows brows down and you can see the eyebrows moving down and we have this upper up right also if you want to track your shaping to make it look right for you maybe you you want to track if you have after you generate the shape you can see some of the post or the blend shape doesn't look right for you just select that shape and go to your animation tab we have show selected shape click on this and it will show you how it's supposed to be look okay so if you set the volume zero it's, up, it's supposed to be normal like this and if you set to one it's supposed to look like this so you can see it we have no snare mouth shook lower so here we can rework on the eyebrows to make it look nice here so i'm going to select the eyebrows let's go to eye blink and here we can go to edit mode and we can align it So when you take your time to make it look right this is how it's supposed to going to be look okay that's how it is after you finish you can click on clear reference and this will remove and now you can switch back to out linear so right now you can test how the blend shape is looking just select your character body and add it to the uh the register our face object here click load so in the add-on when you download the add-on and you extract it it will instruct you to extract when you extract it there is a csv data i'm going to copy the address let me open my blender here i'm going to paste it the address here and we have the csv data let me load it and now this will show you how the blend shape looks okay so here when you take your time do it well this is how it's gonna look okay so you see the face looks smooth and everything look good here okay so guys this is the end of the tutorial if you have any question now uh, guys this is the end of the tutorial if you have any question you can ask it in the comment section okay so this is how it is